Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about gallbladder propositioning. On the left side is a schematic diagram of propositioning. These dotted lines are the coastal margins. Over here is the umbilicus. This white box is the ultrasound probe. And this red dot is the indicator or the orientation marker. With the patient in a supine position, start by placing the probe in the mid clavicular line in longitudinal orientation. The position of the gallbladder is variable, so there are some differences in probe placement. Scan the right upper quadrant until you locate the gallbladder. You will get this type of image. The liver is used as a window to scan the gallbladder. This rounded structure with hyperechoic walls is the portal vein. And over here is the inferior vena cava. You can rotate the probe clockwise and anti clockwise to scan the gallbladder after it is located. Keep the indicator facing towards the patient's head or the right shoulder. You can also angle the probe forwards and backwards to evaluate the gallbladder. This is the image we will get here. This is the liver just below the coastal margin and anterior to the gallbladder and the gallbladder is seen in a longitudinal view. Normally it has a vertical position. The fundus is facing the patient's feet and the neck is facing the patient's head. That is why we see it like this on ultrasound. The AVC is also in longitudinal view. If there is difficulty in scanning, you can ask the patient to take a deep breath. This pushes the liver and the gallbladder below the rib cage and is easier to visualize. To view the gallbladder in transverse view, rotate the probe 90 degrees anti clockwise in the same location and you will get an image like this. We can see a little bit of the liver. Some rib shadows are also present. These are bowel gases causing dirty posterior shadowing. You can also use an intercostal approach to view the gallbladder. Place the probe between the lower rib spaces in the mid clavicular line with the indicator directed towards the patient's head. And you will get this type of image. Rib shadows are seen here and here. This is the right lobe of the liver and the gallbladder is seen inferiorly at the right side of the image. This is the portal vein with hyperechoic borders. If you see too many rib shadows, you can rotate the probe anti-clockwise to direct the indicator towards the patient's right shoulder. You can also rotate further to fit the probe between the rib spaces, which can clear the shadowing and you can scan the gallbladder. Another patient position for gallbladder scanning is the left lateral decubitus position. Roll the patient to the left side and place the probe in similar manner around the mid clavicular line. The gallbladder is brought forward and the bowels are moved away from it, which makes it easier for scanning. This approach is very helpful in distinguishing between mobile and non-mobile gallstones or sludge. Always try this approach if you find gallstones, sludge 
or polyps. An erect patient position is also used in some cases with the same pro placements. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.